I was fortunate enough to take my second black bear to date on this trip, and that put me behind the camera for the next four days. It's our third night in the tree, and uh, we barely got set up, and there was bears all around us. Tom was up getting the camera arm set up. We had the fourth arrow arm just almost in. I looked back, and there's a bear walking through, and then two more behind it. So there's a lot of bears in this spot. It's a brand new spot. Tom filled his tag, so I'm back in the hunter's seat, and uh, we got three nights of sitting, so we're going to be a little patient, but there's a lot of bears in this area. I could already feel it. I'm not sure the size of them, but it should be a really entertaining night. We just had a bear 
just leave and I forgot to put the um, the wind set unit out there so I walked out there put it out there and with any luck one of these bears will come in and check it out it's super hot but we're making do we got a lot of water this time we should be we should be in for a good set tonight Yeah, I never get in. Bring you again. Rob and Mark decided to hunt the morning. So once we finished baiting and checking all the trail cameras, 
we had to pick them up at their spot before heading back to camp. What did we do? I'm so excited. Oh man, that was a massive bear. <laughs> He I, thought, came. I, I thought you guys were kidding. Oh, he came. Oh, the guys <laughs> almost totally blew it. The boat coming in. And you hear you're coming. I finally said to Mark, because he's already here, we kind of passed up a good shot at first. Just gonna take Get more time. time on it. And then all of a sudden he faced right away from us. He's straight away. And you can hear you guys coming. And coming. <laughs> and coming. And coming. And I finally said to Mark, you better be aggressive, take a shot, because he's gonna he's gonna run when he hears that boat hit the shore. Then he just kind of he finally just, just enough to sneak a shot in. It's just like he finally just turned and boom. Now just we got to. Yeah. Hey, Dad, is that him? Is that him right over there? Right. That him right there. That's him. Oh, my God. Massive. <laughs> oh. Gosh! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh, Mark! Oh, dude, <laughs> look at this thing, dude! Like Girl, look at this thing. Oh, my word! Here, 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 here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bear on the bait. Black bear. Yeah, that's that big one we saw earlier.
trees where I could hide. Oh my god. I grabbed the bear spray. <laughs> I thought you were gonna just <laughs> once he leaves, we'll go back and get our stuff and just get up in this tank quick. I'll leave you set up and then I'll I'll okay. do I'll do my thing and Okay. Yeah, let's just go. We could be here all day. You keep coming back in, but we gotta we get gotta set watch up. that black one that was behind us. He's probably on the bait we dropped back there. Yeah. Alright, let's go get our stuff. Let's do it. Yeah, right, let's do it now. Bedford Camera provides everything you need with seven store locations and a huge inventory of product. They have what you want, when you want it. Have you ever dreamed of working in the outdoor industry and unsure of what that next step should be? Film the Hunt, the industry's leader in production education and the most trusted source for job placement. so far it's day four and uh we've had just an action-packed day mark shot mark winaldo from fourth arrow shot an absolute giant bear we're back in the very first spot we sat in and there's a good reason for that we came to bait this spot this afternoon there was already a bear in the bait check the camera and there's two or three good bears all different there's a chocolate there's a blonde there's a big black bear and we were joking, saying, you know, if we get in here and that bear's on the bait, we'll try to do a little spot and stalk. And of course, go fit, we're walking in, and that big black bear's right on the bait. So, fingers were crossed it was gonna happen, but we just never could quite pull it off. So, I'm just hoping he comes back. It's not the big one. It's not, he is good, that might be him actually. You want him right there? So we put a stock on that bear. We baited up, had a good bear come in. And then, I mean, just as you dream, that bigger bear comes in. And we shot him right where he wanted to. I mean, right at the wind set unit. We are extremely lucky and extremely thankful for the four thorough wind set crew because this place is unreal. I mean, the footage will do it justice, but it will truly not do it justice because the scenery and the animals are just, it's, it's crazy, I got no words. <laughs> That's dead.
We love new adventures. There's just something about the unknown of a place that is very appealing to us as hunters. We learned a lot on this bear trip up north. We learned that bear camp is only as good as the people you get to share it with. And that being charged by a big black bear is only funny when it's not true. We found out the hard way that sometimes getting a bear back to the shoreline takes more than two people. And lastly, we learned that chasing big black bears needs to be something we make time for each year. If we